Ever felt stuck trying to bring your AI-generated characters to life without expensive or complicated software? In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn AI-generated images into fully lip-synced animated cartoons in CapCut and just a few online tools. It's going to be fun, easy, and completely free. By the end of this, you'll be able to create your own custom cartoon character just like the one you see here. Let's get started. Creating your AI image. First things first, we need a character to work with. To create one, we'll use an AI tool that turns words into pictures. My go-to is Picklumen.com, a free tool that turns text prompts into images. But there are plenty of other text-to-image generator out there if you want to explore. Here's how the Picklumen AI works. Think about the character you want to create. Maybe it's a cheerful farmer, a futuristic robot, or a whimsical animal. Type in a detailed description, like, a cartoon illustration of a farm boy sporting a blonde mullet with a plaid shirt and a straw hat. He has the stereotypical big eyes of an animated cartoon and high raised eyebrows. His look is very hand-drawn and unique with lots of personality on a white background. The colors are vibrant and warm, highlighting the farmer's full body expression and approachable personality. This white background will make it easier to edit later. Once you've got your description ready, click on the Advanced Settings feature here and pick the Flux model, it's one of the options on the site here, and then set the image size to 16 by 9. That's the standard size for YouTube videos, so it'll fit perfectly when we're done. You can also choose how many images to generate. I will go with all four to see all the cool options the AI comes up with. Leave the other options as is. I'll drop this prompt in the description box below so you can copy and customize it however you want. When you're ready, hit generate and the AI will work its magic. Once it's done, you'll see a few images pop up. Pick the one you like the most, click on it, remix it if you want, or just go back and hit the download button to save it to your computer. Now that you've got your character, the next step is to clean it up a bit. This is where things start to get really interesting, so stay tuned. Preparing the character for animation. Once you've downloaded your character, we're going to head over to a website called Pixel Cut. This site has a super handy image editing tools, and it's gonna help us get rid of the image background and the character's mouth. Why are we removing the character's mouth? Well, to make the mouth move and sync with a voiceover, we need to erase the original mouth and replace it with an animated one. Here's how it works. Go to Pixel Cut, create an account, and log in. Then click on the Remove Background option and upload the image. The AI will instantly remove the background, leaving your character cleanly cut out. To download your image with a transparent background, click on Download here at the top to save the file on your device. Your cartoon character is now saved without any background, ready for the next step in your animation process. Easy, right? Go back to the homepage on Pixel Cut and select the Magic Eraser tool. Upload the image you just downloaded from the Background Removal tool. Now, you'll see your character on the screen. The goal here is to carefully erase the mouth while keeping the rest of the face intact. I like to first zoom into the face of my character, then lower the brush size a little so I can be precise. Then carefully erase the mouth, leaving any subtle details like dimples or lines intact. It adds a bit of detail to the face, so I'll avoid erasing that. Once you've highlighted the mouth with the eraser tool, click Apply Magic Eraser, and just like that, the mouth is gone. If there's a tiny bit left, no worries. Just go over it again with the eraser, and it'll clean it up perfectly. Erasing the mouth might seem like a small step, but it's super important for making your character look natural when we add the animated mouth later. Trust me, it's worth the effort. Your character is now ready for the next step. Download this edited version for future use. To preserve the transparent background, save the image as a PNG file. To do this, open the image in the editor and select PNG as the file format when saving. Adding blinking eyes. Now the next step is totally optional. You can skip it if you want, but I'm going to show you how to add a little extra life to your character by making it blink. If you've ever watched cartoons, you've probably noticed that characters blink every now and then. It's a small detail, but it makes them feel more alive. So if you're up for it, let's dive in. First, I'm going to open the image of my character on my computer. For this, I use a free tool called Photo P, which is basically like a free version of Photoshop. If you've never used it before, don't worry, it's pretty straightforward. Once you've opened your image, grab the brush tool from the toolbar. I'm going to stick with black for now, but you can choose any color that matches your character's skin tone. Now, zoom in on the character's face so you can see the eyes clearly. Using the brush, 
I'm going to carefully draw closed eyes over the existing ones. I'll start with one eye, coloring straight across to close it. Then, I'll do the same for the other eye. Once both eyes are closed, I'll switch to a color that matches the character's skin tone and fill in the eyelids to make them look natural. If you want to add a little more detail, you can use a slightly different shade for the eyelids and then use the smudge tool to blend it in. This makes it look less like you just drew on the eyes and more like they're naturally closed. Once you're happy with how it looks, zoom out to see the full picture. Now your character has closed eyes. To save this version, click on Export As, choose PNG as the file type, and name it something like Eyes Closed. This way, you'll have both the open-eyed and closed-eyed versions of your character ready to use. Writing a script and generating a voiceover. Okay, now that we've got our character looking lively, it's time to give it a voice. For this, we'll need a script. If you're feeling creative, you can write your own, but if you need some help, ChatGPT is a great tool. I'm going to type in a prompt like, write me a short narration of a young country farmer talking about becoming an agripreneur. ChatGPT will whip up a script in seconds. Once it's done, I'll copy the text so we can use it for the voiceover. Now, we need to turn that script into a voice. There are a few ways to do this, but for this tutorial, we'll use CapCut. It's free and super easy to use. And just like everything else we've done so far, this part is completely free, no payments needed. Let's get started by adding some text. First, make sure you're on the text tab. Now let's add some text. Click on default text and paste in the script we got from ChatGPT earlier. One thing to keep in mind, CapCut has a limit of about 500 characters at a time. So if your script is longer, you might need to split it into smaller chunks. Once you've pasted the text, it's time to turn it into a voiceover. Head over to the text-to-speech option and click on it. Here, you'll see a bunch of voice options. Now a quick heads up, CapCut has been adding more and more features that require a paid pro subscription, so make sure you're choosing a free voice. For this tutorial, I'm going with the fussy male voice. It's free and has a fun, cartoony sound to it. You're using the text-to-speech feature. Choose a voice you like. Once you've selected the voice, click Generate Speech, and just like that, you've got a voiceover. For example, mine sounds something like, I've been waking before dawn every day since I was knee high. My boots squelching in fields coated with last night's dew. It's got that perfect animated vibe we're going for. Repeat this process until your entire script has been transformed into a voiceover. Now to save your voiceover, go to the export button. Make sure to turn off the video option so you're only exporting the audio. Choose MP3 as the file type and hit export. Boom you've got your voiceover ready to use. Let's keep going and bring this cartoon to life. Syncing the mouth movements. This is where things get really cool. We're going to make our character's mouth move in sync with the voiceover. For this, we'll use a tool called Adobe Express. Head over to the site you will find the link below. Click on Create Now. Remember how we removed the character's mouth earlier? This is why. We're going to replace it with an animated mouth that moves along with the voiceover. When you're setting this up, make sure to choose a green background. I know there's a transparent option, but if you try to export with a transparent background, you'll hit a paywall. Trust me, green works just fine for what we're doing. Go back to the Character tab, then click on Category and select Mouth Only. Adobe Express has a few different mouth options to choose from. For my character, I will go with the Happy Mouth. It fits the vibe perfectly. Once you've picked your mouth, click Browse and upload the VoiceOver MP3 file you created earlier. After the tool processes everything, you'll see a preview of your character's new animated mouth moving along with the VoiceOver. It'll look something like this. I've been waking before dawn every day since I was knee-high. My boots squelching in fields coated with last night's dew. Pretty neat, right? This is how we bring the lip sync magic to life. Once you're happy with how it looks, go ahead and download the clip. Now, let's keep the momentum going. We're almost done. Animating the character in CapCut. Open CapCut. It's time to bring our character to life. Start by importing the images we created earlier. The one with the eyes open and the one with the eyes closed. This is the character we designed together using PicLumen. Now to create a natural blinking effect, arrange the images in this order. Begin by keeping the eyes open for a slightly longer stretch. Then, insert a quick single blink by placing the closed eye image. Pay close attention to the timing of the closed eyes. To make it look natural, you'll need to shorten the timeline of the closed eye. 
Just zoom in and drag the slider to make it super quick, like a blink of an eye, pun intended. Play it back to see how it looks. Once you've got the first blink looking good, continue with eyes open again for another stretch, then include a double blink by closing and opening the eyes twice in quick succession. Finally, paste the eyes open clip one more time. So the sequence goes like this. Eyes open for a bit, quick single blink, eyes open again, double blink, and finish with the eyes open once more. This approach creates a believable animation in which the majority of the time the eyes remain open with one quick blink early on and a double blink closer to the end. To keep things organized, select all these clips, right click, and choose create compound clip. This groups everything together so it's easier to work with. Next up, we're going to add the animated mouth. Import the mouth clip we created earlier and drag it onto the timeline. Zoom out a bit so you can see everything clearly. Click on the mouth clip, go to the video tab and select remove background. This is where we'll use the chroma key tool to get rid of the green background and make the mouth fit perfectly with our character. Since the audio is still attached to the mouth file, right click and select extract voiceover. Next, copy the newly created compound clip and paste it as many times as needed to match the full length of your voiceover. Adding backgrounds and effects. Now that we have our fully lip-synced custom character, let's take the animation to the next level. First, head back to Picklumen AI, the free AI image generation tool we used, and enter a prompt to generate your background image. Something like, a cartoon illustration of a farm with hay bales, a tractor, and a tree, vibrant 2D flat, hand-drawn digital illustration cartoon background. Then select the flux model and the aspect ratio. Click the generate button, then choose your favorite result and download it. Next, open CapCut, adjust the aspect ratio and drag the background image onto your timeline. Stretch it so it covers the entire video. This creates a setting for your character, whether it's a farm, a city, or any other environment that fits your story. To make things even smoother, let's group the character and the mouth together. Highlight both clips, right-click, and select Create Compound Clip. This keeps everything neat and easy to manage. Now to add a little extra life to our character, let's apply an effect. Head over to the Effects tab and find the Pendulum effect. Drag it onto the compound clip we just created. This effect will make the character's head bob slightly, giving it a natural, animated feel. Adjust the strength of the effect down to around 5, so it's subtle but noticeable. When you play it back, you'll see the character's head moving a little, like they're talking and reacting naturally. It's a small touch, but it makes a big difference. Now, let's step up the animation by adding some fun elements to the background. For this, we'll use Vectezi, a website with tons of free green screen videos. Head over to Vectezi, click on Videos at the top, and search for something like Cartoon Cow or Walking Chicken. These are the kinds of clips that can really bring your background to life. Once you've found a clip you like, Download it. Make sure to give credit to the creator if required. Then, import it into CapCut and drag it onto the timeline above your background. Use the chroma key tool under the video tab to remove the green background. You might need to adjust the intensity a bit to clean up any leftover green edges. I've got a chicken here that's walking in place. To make it look like it's actually moving across the screen, I'll scale it down so it fits the scene better. Then, I'll use the Transform tool under the Basic tab to add keyframes. Place the first keyframe at the start of the clip, and then move the playhead to the end. Drag the chicken across the screen to where you want it to finish. Now, when you play it, the chicken will walk from one side of the screen to the other, and you'll see how it adds a whole new layer of fun to the animation. Enhancing with music and sound effects. Finally, let's add some background music and sound effects to tie everything together. Go to the Audio tab in CapCut and search for something like Hillbilly or Country Music to match the theme. Drag the music onto the timeline and lower the volume so it doesn't overpower the voiceover. You can also add sound effects like a chicken clucking or a tractor engine to make the scene feel more alive. When you play it all together, you'll see how these little details, music, sound effects, and background animations Bring your cartoon to life. I've been waking before dawn every day since I was knee-high. 
My boat's squelching in fields coated with last night's dew. I used to think farming was just about coaxing crops from the earth and making sure the livestock were well cared for. But I've come to see there's so much more. The folks in town are starting to call me an agripreneur, a fancy word, but it means I'm taking what my family and I know best and turning it into a real growing business. I've learned that success isn't just about planting seeds at the right time. It's about pairing my crops with the right technology, finding new ways to package and market, and connecting directly with customers who value fresh, local produce. My grandpa's always told me, you take care of the land, and the land will take care of you. So I'm doing just that. Except now, I'm doing it in a way that makes me proud to say, I'm not only a farmer, I'm an entrepreneur too. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to creating your own custom animated cartoon in CapCut, completely for free. Now it's your turn to get creative and make something amazing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your creations in the comments.